Hey everyone, I'm Chris. I'm here today to give you some pointers for crocheting in the round. And we're going to do specifically working from the outside, not working from like a magic ring in the middle. So grab your yarn and come sit down with me. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks for crocheting in the round if you're working on something where you need to make uh, like a tube instead of like an afghan where we tend to start in the middle and work out. Uh, this is handy for things like fingerless mitts or boot cuffs, um, lots of things, baby hats. I use it all the time. There are some things you need to remember if you are just learning. So I'm going to give you some tips. I'm going to set this aside here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to start with a basic chain, nothing special. But the trick here is if you are working, you're going to be working in the round, you need to make sure you adjust your tension on your chain. You don't want it to be your normal tension because what will happen here, and you can see it here in this sample, this is where I started. These were my beginning chains and they're tighter. And so if you need something that has the same dimension on each side, you're going to have to adjust. So keep that in mind. I did that on purpose so that you could see that. Um, so when you do this, just make sure you do your chains a little looser than you normally would. So I'm just going to chain some here. I'm not going to make anything in particular. And I am keeping my tension very loose. And in fact, I'm actually pulling a little bit towards myself on that chain just to make sure that I'm giving myself plenty of room. Okay, so we're just going to make a chain here and then I'm going to show you how to join it for working in the round. And the thing to remember when you are working in the round is that once you join your chain, if there are any twists in your chain, you're going to not end up with a tube like this. You are going to end up with something like an infinity scarf where there is no beginning and no end. So keep that in mind. And the thing that I do is I will take my chain and lay it flat and I will make sure that all of the V's on the chain or the front side of the chain are facing towards me and the little ridge that goes down the back of the chain is away from me. And what I'll do is I kind of just keep my fingers here in the middle and I wrap it around my fingers and I just make sure as I'm going around there's no twists and I'll grab that last ridge there, which is our first chain that we did, and I will slip stitch right into that chain. So you pull there and pull through there. And then just give it a good tug to make sure it joined. And then when you look at it, just before you do any of your stitching, because it's the worst when you have to rip it out because you found a twist, just kind of follow it along and make sure there's no twists. So as you can see, I've got all of those V's on that chain facing out. There's no twists. And then you can just follow your pattern. So in my case, I'm just going to do some double crochets to show you. And you'll just go into the next ridge. Whoops. So I did, I chained three to raise and my next ridge is here actually. Skipped one there. There we go. Go. And you'll just keep going round and round. Make sure you get them all. And I'm going to go all the way around because I want to show you how to join. Here we go. So I'm going to just continue like this. I'm going to go all the way around. And I'll, uh, when I get to the end, I'll show you how to join and then go to the next row up. So I have gone all the way around. And as you can see, I have no twists and I've got one stitch left. And the trick when you are going around and making you, the end of your round is to make sure that you get every stitch. Sometimes we'll see that last thing there and it doesn't really look like a stitch and we skip it and then we get a hole and it's not pleasant. So just make sure that you get that last chain. And if you need to, um, put a stitch marker on that chain before you join it so that you can remember that that is actually a stitch that you need to go in. So here I've gone all the way around and you see I've got that nice little ridge from my chain from where I cast on there. And this Red Heart yarn, this is Red Heart with Love, is a great 
yarn to practice with. It actually makes wonderful baby items. So um, it's been a lot of fun to work with this one. The other thing that we need to remember is to, unless your pattern tells you specifically that you are working in a spiral up your tube, you are going to have to close your round and then jump up to the next row. So to close the round here, you are going to just slip stitch in the top of that turning chain that you made. So you'll just make a basic little slip stitch, go through and then through your loop on the hook. And you can see there I've closed the chain and I've got every stitch all the way around. And then to get up to the next row, you'll just do the equivalent of a turning chain, but you're not turning, you're not flipping anything over because you're working in the round now. So we go and you'll just continue all the way around. Just make sure that you get every stitch or follow your stitch pattern in your pattern, whatever it says to work with there. So there you go. That is crocheting in the round, my tips and tricks. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And don't forget that description bar down below is going to have everything you need in it. We'll see you next time.